How's it going, Cheap Dogs? Today I got a little knife review for you. This knife right here is a Spartan Blades Frike. So, let's go ahead and unbox it here. Picked this knife up about a week ago. And uh, I've been using it for my deployment EDC everyday carry as a fixed blade. So, uh, as you can see in the box, you get the knife right here. It, I did opt to go with the Kydex sheath. Now this will normally come with a molly sheath, but I plan on doing scout carry uh, in the small of my back, so I wanted the Kydex sheath. So I went with the Coyote Brown Kydex sheath. Uh, this right here is a blade tech. I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute. But this is the knife. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So as you can see, got a real beautiful design to it. This is the Frike once again. Now this is one of their smaller fixed blades. I know Spartan Blades makes a lot of larger blades. I was really found out about them when I was looking at getting one of their Ares knives. But for me, this would be better just for, you know, like a self-defense, a little bit smaller. Uh, it's a little bit easier to conceal, even though it is a really thick blade, but uh, it is a nice size. Um, and like I said, I've had this for about a week so far and I really do like it. So, uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the specs on it. Uh, I did just sharpen it yesterday, but uh, so some of the specs here, the blade length is four and a quarter four and a quarter inch blade so some states I don't know the laws as far as carrying a fixed blade he might have to be under four inches I'm not too sure I'm actually not too worried about that but uh, this is four and a quarter the overall length of the entire knife is eight and a half inch thickness is three sixteenth inch as you can see it's a very thick knife good utility knife work knife but I primarily use this as a self-defense knife well, if I ever had to use it as a self-defense knife, this is where I would go for it. Haven't had to do that yet. Hopefully never have to. Uh, the material, uh, it's a S30, S35VN steel, made in the US, USA. And you can see their logo right there. Pretty cool logo. Does come with G10 grips, uh, inserts right here, G10. If you don't know about G10, it's like a synthetic material. It's like a very good... I mean, I don't want to say plastic, but it's a nice synthetic material. Uh, very durable, very hard. Uh, now, they're calling this, Spartan Blades calls this a swedge drop point blade. But as you can see the design, it almost looks like a, like a Spartan sword, something a Spartan would carry back in the day, just a smaller version. So it's very cool. That's kind of what caught my eye, is the design. So it's uh, one of the main reasons I got interested in them. Now, they have a few other fixed blades that I really like. Uh, the Enyo I know is very popular. I was thinking about getting one of those. That's was kind of, I was between that one and this one. And the Enyo just seemed a little bit too small for me. But would have been better for concealed carry. Or I guess uh, concealing the fixed blade. But this, I'm overall, uh, the size is a little bit better for me. I get a full grip on it. It's pretty comfortable. Um, it's definitely not the most comfortable blade I've hand handled before. But for the size and what it is, it's comfortable. Now, it did come with a little black lanyard right here. I took it off. Um, didn't need that. Uh, some other things on the knife. Let's see here. Uh, the coating. So, this is the black and green. So, I got the black blade with the green grips. Like I said, uh, the grips are G10 material, but the coating is a PVD tungsten DLC finish. Now, they offer this in two different colors, I believe. They offer this in a flat dark earth and the flat black I got the flat black now a lot of people say the flat black uh, you know shows more wear holster wear uh, I think it will give it a little bit of personality over time a little bit of patina you could say but uh, the flat dark earth looks really cool too also they do three different colors for the grips they do black green and cowdy brown so I went with the the green and black I like the way it looks for the sheath now I went with the cowdy brown sheath and I had to wait a little bit. If you check their website, you know, they, they update their inventory all the time, but they were out of these when I wanted to order it. So I think I, I think I emailed them and a few days later they emailed me back and said they had these in stock. So I went and placed an order. Now, uh, the sheath here. So 
it doesn't pop in like I'm used to. I'm used to more for gun sheets, but I'm used to hearing that audible pop when it clicks in, and this one does not. Now, don't get me wrong, it is a good sheath. It hasn't fallen out or anything like that, but I would prefer just to have that audible pop so that way I know it's secure. And this one, as you can see, you push it in and it feels like it's in and then I just, you know, give it a little bit more push and it kind of angles it down. So not too concerned with it. I've been carrying it for about a week. Like I said, the knife hasn't fallen out or anything like that. It's just not what I'm used to, but uh, I do like it. Here's the company that makes it. Uh, I can't pronounce that, but you, you can go ahead and see. But as far as material, I mean, Kydex sheath, as far as thickness, I don't know, 0 0.06 thickness maybe. I'm not sure. But so now this is what I want to talk about too. So when I bought this, I posted this on my Instagram. And I it came with uh, inside the waistband belt loop. And I used that. I tried using it for scout carry and it would just wobble around. It really wasn't designed for that. It was more for in the waistband. So my buddy, he actually had one of these blade tech, tech locks. That's what they're called. And he said, uh, if you wanted to trade, I could give him the simple belt loop because he prefers to carry his knife angled and I prefer to carry it at a horizontal. So we traded and I love this thing. This thing's awesome. I actually went back and checked Spartan Blades websites and they do offer these uh, under the accessories. I didn't know about that. I wish I did. I would have ordered one then, but really good. Great for scout carry. I mean, this thing is secure on my back. It doesn't bounce around. It doesn't cant anything like that. And I'm surprised I didn't know too much about these. I started doing a little research and I see a lot of people using them for knives, guns, a lot of stuff. So really good design. I mean, you guys are probably a little bit more familiar with these than I am. But uh, let's see if I get this. So there's a lock. You squeeze this. You can adjust it for your belt, your belt size. And then it just locks in. And you have a second lock right there. And this thing is super secure. So really happy with the blade tech. Uh, mounting for scout carry now if I was going to carry inside the waistband so when I get back home I'm probably not gonna carry uh, you scout carry when I get back home I'm probably gonna go inside the waistband and I'll probably do what my buddy does and put it in an angle so I'll probably go back with the soft belt loop and the belt loop they do include is really nice it is one of those uh, directional ones so it's not gonna come unpopped unless you pull from a certain angle uh, I wish I would had it with me but he's actually using it right now so I can't show it uh, overall, uh, what else did I talk about? Oh, weight. Weight on the blade is 0.244 pounds, so about a quarter of a pound. It is light. Uh, it's not going to be cumbersome when you carry it as long as you do have it secured properly. All right, uh, let me show you what you get in the box with it. So you get another catalog that shows all their, all their products. Like I said, they started doing fixed blades, but it seems now they're doing a lot of folders and stuff like that. So where is it? If I could find it here, they got a dagger that's really cool. Uh, here it is. So the Ares blade is on the top left right here. This is how I kind of found out about them. And then this is the Enyo over here. You can see the real small one. A lot of people use it as a neck knife. Uh, it's pretty cool. So I probably will be getting the Enyo in the future. And then let's see if they have a picture of it. The Horcos is the uh, the one I really like. Here we go. So the Horcos right here, this thing is awesome. So I really don't need that. That's more of like a, a fighting knife, I guess. Uh, it's a little bit larger and you know, I <laughs> I guess I look like a douche enough carrying this around in scout carry, but I'm down range right now, I'm deployed, so I really don't care. When I get back home, I'm probably not gonna use this as scout carry. I'll probably conceal it. Uh, one thing too that makes me nervous is someone coming up behind me and grabbing my knife if they know it's there. So that makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, what else do they get you? I like it. They give you a decal, which is cool. I love how companies do that. And a sticker. The only other thing, I know I can't get too uh, picky, but I wish they would throw a patch in there. That's just because I like patches and collect patches. And I thought it was cool here on the invoice. I'm going to try not to show my information. But they throw in a little personalized message, which is pretty cool. So I thought that was nice. Uh, but overall, hope you guys like the review. Uh, it is a good blade. Definitely recommend it. These are they are expensive. Uh, I'm not going to lie about that. I think these run around $230, $250, something like that. And then it's a little bit extra if you go with the Kydex sheath. And I'm going to put a link to these guys in the description if you want to go ahead and check, it out, check them out. 
Hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And then leave a comment down below and let me know what you think, especially about carrying this scout carrier. I'm, I'm kind of new to carrying a fixed blade, but I'm, I normally carry a pocket knife. But let me know what you guys think of this setup. I'm sure everyone likes blade tech. I found out everyone commented on my Instagram post said, you know, go with blade tech, go with the tech lock. So really did enjoy that. Definitely helped me out. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Till next time.